So Daniel, what brings you out to here today then for the block party? Sure, so uh, my name is Daniel Tona. I'm the political coordinator for The Many. Uh, but obviously I support our Homes Are Not Hotels campaign. And it's basically saying that, you know, we want to regulate short-term rentals. It's like the Airbnbs and Verbos. We want to make sure that they register with the city and that they pay a fee. And then we're trying to ban just one specific type of short-term rental, uh, the unhosted ones. So that's where the host doesn't live on the property uh, because we feel that those could instead be, you know, homes for sale or homes for a long-term rental instead of being a short-term rental. Uh, you know, there's a housing crisis in Kingston and all over the Hudson Valley. So we really think it's important that we open up that supply of uh, housing. Now, is it is it is the problem you're seeing more with uh, like oh, oh, like homes or is it apartments too or is it both? It's both actually. There's there's if you can actually go to Airbnb.com right now and then click around and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, entire homes that are listed, but then there's also entire apartments listed. You know, our law, our template law, has like. You know, if, if you're someone who lives in an apartment, you have a spare bedroom, or you live in a house, you have a spare bedroom that you want to rent out on Airbnb, uh, you wouldn't be hurt by this law at all. You just have to register with the city. Um, but if you're someone who bought a house just for the sake of turning it into an Airbnb, that's kind of what we want to put a stop to. And how many uh, cases or instances are you seeing that of around around here in Kingston and where, where there's these non, uh, the rise of these non-owner-occupied uh, Airbnb or uh, Verbo uh, properties? Great. Yeah, I mean, I could get you the exact number, but, uh, you know, there are dozens of these, like, Airbnbs and uh, and Verbos all over the city of Kingston, and the majority of them are unhosted, so the host doesn't live on the property. Or then, or that, like, where you were just talking about the, yeah. about the platform and the accountability and... Yeah, so the short-term rental regulation law that, that For the Many Help Write, you know, we worked with housing experts, lawyers, and legislators all over the state and country, uh, especially from cities where they've already passed similar laws here in New York State. And, you know, we were told that some of the key things that need to be in the law to make it effective would be like, uh, you have to create a registration system uh, that's easily accessible online, where hosts, people who want to be hosts of Airbnbs can register with the city. Um, you need to... Uh, get uh what's it called data sharing with with airbnb and verbos like that's required in our law that they share some of the data with the city so the city really knows what's going on and then accountability for the platform being airbnb verbo so the short-term rental websites they would not be allowed to list a uh, a short-term rental that wasn't registered with the city and if someone who wasn't registered with the city tried to list their uh, thing on a site, they're supposed to get rejected. And then if they try to, and they, you know, there's like fines for the platform and for the host if they're not following the law.